Hello. I am going to show a quick tip on a couple of uses of a tracking generator with the Regal DSA815 Spectrum Analyzer. So just a couple of days ago I was uh, assembling a circuit board and uh, this circuit board has a microcontroller that needs a crystal oscillator and uh, I had selected a really small uh, crystal oscillator that is a leadless part and it's quite small it's about three millimeters and has to be soldered on with a uh, reflow process and the uh, part number marking on this part didn't quite make sense so uh, was thinking about how I could uh, measure the frequency of this oscillator without having to solder it onto a board or making a, uh, you know, a circuit to make it run. So I decided to hook it up to the spectrum analyzer and I thought I'd show this information. The Regal spectrum analyzer is available with a couple of different options. One of the options is a uh, tracking generator. Now the tracking generator will put out a frequency at the same frequency that the spectrum analyzer's notch is operating at. So a spectrum analyzer basically looks at uh, uh, signals in the frequency domain and it will basically have a notch that moves across the bandwidth that you select and will display the data in that uh, band pass notch. Um, and the tracking generator will put out a frequency at that exact same notch. The tracking generator option uh, adds about $100 is all to the spectrum analyzer's cost and if you're considering purchasing one of these uh, Regal DSA 1815 spectrum analyzers um, I would not buy it without the tracking generator. Okay, let's uh, set up the spectrum analyzer to uh, make a couple of quick measurements. So I know that this crystal is most likely going to be between 1 megahertz and 100 megahertz. So let's we'll make that start frequency of 1 megahertz, stop frequency of 100 megahertz. Uh, let's set our bandwidth to something smaller. Let's go to 100 kilohertz. Uh, we can leave the attenuator. Let's go to uh, dB microvolts. Let's set our reference level to an even number. We're going to go to 100 dB microvolts. Um, let's set the scale to 6 dB. Okay, I think that looks good. Uh, let's go to the tracking generator. Let's set the tracking generator to a nice even number. Let's go to 90 dB. And for some reason it goes to 90.99. I don't know why. I'm just going to take that down one click and we're now at 89.99. So roughly, roughly 90 dB. Let's turn on the tracking generator now. So nothing's changed because we're not connected. I can take a little jumper cable here and connect the output to the input. And there we go. I can set the marker here and we can see that we're 90 dB. So roughly 90 dB. So uh, and this wire's got a pretty flat frequency response from one megahertz to 100 megahertz. I could take this uh, 10 dB attenuator here, put it in circuit, and our marker now is at 81 dB. So yeah, we're, that attenuator is roughly 10 dB and its frequency response is nice and flat. 
So let's put in our crystal now. So uh, I've got this crystal soldered to two pieces of a VNC cable. It doesn't matter what side of the crystal we drive. And uh, let me get that data out of the way. Display active function center. Okay, so we can look at this frequency response here and we see this little blip right here. That is going to be the resonant frequency of the crystal. So let's move our marker down here and we can see that this is a 16 megahertz oscillator. I should say crystal, I'm sorry. Uh, that's a good thing because I wanted to put in a 8 megahertz and so that saved me uh, soldering and desoldering with the reflow process uh, that specific crystal. So trying to think of something else I could hook up to the uh, tracking generator and show a frequency response. This is a uh, high pass filter that uh, I had laying around for a cable TV and uh, it says uh, it starts at 54 megahertz so we could hook this guy up and see what it really does. So, okay, here's the setup. Well, there surely is a uh, filtering uh, going on. So 84 dB and uh, so that's 6 dB down and we're 42 megahertz. So yeah, uh, it's not exactly, you know, 54, but it uh, doesn't need to be. But it is showing that this uh, filter works. Well, that's about it. Thought I would just share that uh, quick little tip on a method to measure a crystal out of circuit. Uh, and it's pretty fast, you know, it would only take a few minutes to solder uh, the crystal to a couple of uh, old BNC cables and hook it up to your spectrum analyzer to verify whether the crystal works or what the frequency uh, it should be operating at. And uh, there you have it. If you like this type of stuff, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. Thanks.